Whoa, baby, we got all premium foil shards of Alara booster packs. These suckers are still a hot commodity. They're selling at about $40 a piece right now. I got a little lucky, picked these up for about 34 bucks a pop. But if you can get your hands on them for cheaper, uh, why not? There was a time they were going for only 15 bucks uh, when I first opened them on this channel about two years ago, and I was known as MTG Schism Report. That's correct. We're going to be cracking them open. This is like the only set where every card you open is foil. They're doing something similar with these collector booster packs where you're guaranteed some foils, but nothing compared to the Shards of Alara, Conflux, and Alara Reborn. All foil premium booster packs. We're going to crack open all three of them. Let's see what nastiness is in store. What's inside? I don't know, but it's going to be really exciting. Skadoosh! I did not forget the masterful ninja and the full art swamp is going out to someone as well as the goat token and the gorgeous ninja card that that was all wrong about and let's not forget about the crappy foils one person will be acquiring haru with assigned skewer the critics that was destroyed on the channel that is fun for the diehards of diehard skadoosh bags let's get up in this shards of alara baby these suckers are nasty. I'll announce those winners in just a little bit. Let's get into opening up this crazy sauce. Oh, my gosh. So really quick on the back, I'll show you guys uh, what it says. Assemble the shiniest of the Shards of Alara block. Planeswalkers have discovered the plane. Who cares? Within the booster, you'll discover 15 premium foil cards gathered from the combined might of the Shards of Alara Conflux and Alara Reborn sets. Rulebook not included. But, man, these things, man, were nasty sauce. I have opened a few other of these on the channel. Um, a couple uh, of the videos get pretty out of control. Um, I actually went and destroyed an entire pack of these. It got a little nuts. But uh, that video is seriously insane. There's actually a Noble High Arc in it. Crazy video. Probably one of my favorite because, uh, man, the Noble High Arc dodged a bullet. Well, it, it was a saw, but who's counting, huh? All right. I can't rem I don't know what value is inside of here, so I need you guys to help a brother out. Again, these are about 30, 35 bucks, roughly. Let's crack open these gorgeous sauce. All foils. Tortoise formation. All right, looking pretty hot there. Blightning, that just looks dope. I like it. Deals the old three damage and gets a skid ink. This, you, gotta, you gotta shine them back and forth. You really do. You really do. Look at this guy. He's got the steed right there. Man, he's about to take things to plowshares. I already know. He's going to drop off a, like a package. And he's going to be like, hey, man, can you hold on to this for a little bit? I know. I know it's a big old sack of gold, but you got to hold on to it, man. Night of the skyward eye. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, bro. That is gorgeous. We got to shine all these babies. Welkin Guide. Man, that guy is lucky. He's got this bird, like, carrying him. Didn't you ever want to fly? I always wanted to fly. Like, get, like one super, like, power, it would, it would be flying. Like, why would you not want to fly? Like, I think that'd be, like, the ultimate cool thing. Like, let me just fly around, you know. What would you guys want to do? I, I, mine's flying, though. If I could have one superpower, I'd be, I'd be flying. Oh, yes. Call to heal. Call to heal. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. There's, like, is that, what's going on there? Someone help, help me out. What is happening in this artwork? Is he, is he kneeling? Oh, that's a rhino, and it's kneeling on one knee. He's probably about to propose to some girl. All right, Molten Frame. Oh, yeah, get some of that. Destroy target artifact creature with the cycling for deuce. Cycling. They did a lot of cycling, man. I didn't realize how many times they used cycling. Vidalkin Outlander. Nice little foil there. Good artwork. This guy's just lost in the abyss. He has no idea what's going on. Gleam Resistance. That's a nice shiner. I like that. Back again to these rhinos in armor. I guess rhino armor was a thing, huh? Pretty powerful, I guess. Pretty cool. Stormcaller's Boom. Stormcaller's boom. Um, I think this dragon just spit up everywhere. Kind of like a baby. Actually, it kind of looks like the maybe maybe like it got a hit over the head and there's blood bleeding out everywhere. I'm not really sure what to make of this one. You guys let me know. We're almost at the uncommons. Grixis Sojourners. You got your zombie orgs, man. What else do you want? They're zombie orgs. Oh, I like this guard. The Jungle Shrine. Pretty crazy. You can add three different colors of mana. You can pick from one of them. You only can pick one of the Naya tribe. 
pretty cool the jungle shrine looks good though i do like it. it's a nice little pool there ignite disorder with the flames in the background definitely hot definitely hot to trot there wall of denial sounds like the first 20 girls i ever asked on a date like, you know <laughs> defender flying shroud wow zero eight that would be really powerful in a wall build holy crap defender flying and shroud that would be powerful. well i guess yeah you have an eight eight flyer that's got to be in a lot of those wall builds guaranteed it there is our rare rakamar legendary we got a legendary it's pretty cool for one, tap it, put a 3-1 red elemental creature token with haste into play. Wow. That seems kind of powerful. I mean, it also seems like it's pretty easy to remove that, but if you can, like, spam her and untap her, like, three, four times in a turn, you know, that could be a lot of fun. Pretty sweet. Got the foil mountain here. Not bad at all. And we got a sapling token. Pretty cool. So that was the first pack. Wow. Very nice, very nice. Um, who is taking home Mr. Masterful Nin Mr. Ninja and the GOAT token? BAM! It is none other than Jim. Jim Tillerson said, um, I asked why GOAT Lives Matter, and Jim Tillerson said, Skadoosh! GOAT Lives Matter because that's what us retired and active duty U.S. Navy Chief Petty Officers are called. GOATs. And our quarters is even called the GOAT Locker. Exclamation point. LOL. Jim, make sure you email me at mossbergswerve at gmail.com. It's M-O-S-B-E-R-G-S-W-E-R-V-E -E -E at gmail.com. I do appreciate any of our active or non-active uh, duty uh, vets or uh, people serving currently in the uh, military. Salute to all of you out there, you men and women. Uh, are, uh, are, doing the, are doing a great deed in service for this beloved country. Skadoosh. Thank you very much. That goes out to you, Jim. Congrats. Now we go back to our Magic the Gathering Shards of Alara. Volume 2. Volume 2. What is up inside the second one? The packaging is cool. And that insert's pretty nice too, by the way. The insert you can get out of here. You just rip it on out. Hey, come on out. Get out there. Get out there, Bill. Come on, Billy. There we go. Bill finally came out. The insert, what I was talking about. These come out, and they look all nice and shiny. Except for that one's a little dinged up. But there you have it. Let's see what we get inside this one. The first one wasn't too bad. It was not too bad. I'm not really, like, so concerned about the value. Um, but I do like uh, I do like seeing nice foils, you know? Of course, value, it goes a long way. But that's not just the only reason. Like, I just like cracking open the old stuff. Especially, like, a rare product like this. Vectus Silencer is pretty cool. Those dudes are ready to mess you up, man. It looks like this guy's a wuss, though. If he's got, he's got to be protected like that. Resounding scream. Look at a load of that artwork. Holy crap! Cycling for eight. Target player discards a card at random. Discard this card, draw a card. Why is it so expensive? When you cycle resounding scream, target player discards two cards at random. Oh my gosh! I don't think I saw much play at all. Holy crap! Oblivion ring foil. Yes, that's a solid one right there. And uh, the foil version. From what was that? Shards of Alara, Conflux? I don't know. Take your pick. Take your pick. Um, really powerful card. When Oblivion Ring comes into play, remove another target non-land permanent from the game. When Oblivion Ring leaves play, return the removed card to play under its own control. This thing just, uh, it, it's hard to get rid of, man. And uh, it, it triggers nicely with like infinite combos and stuff like that. Vigilance and Haste. Siradin Yearling. Pretty cool. Ooh. Illuminati confirmed right there. Bada bang, there it is. Tide Hollow Strix. This card has jumped in price like crazy lately. And this is the OG version. I didn't realize what I was holding in my hand until right now. Flying in Death Touch, it's a deuce one. This card is seriously good. Um, wow, we actually pulled one. I didn't even know it was in this set. And that's the OG artwork, and we got the foil of it. Get off me. Wow. Druid of the anime. Look at the gorgeousness on that, man. Um, it, it's, it's, it, that is Jim Murray's artwork right there. Jim Murray does gorgeous elves. That's what he does in his, in his downtime. Gorgeous elves. That's what he does. Yoke of the Damned. There you go. That is cool. Look at that, like, lava flowing out the back. 
That thing looks nasty. Do you see a good look at that? Can you get a good look at that really good? You see that right there? You see that right there? Yeah. You like that? You like, oh my God. I like that. That's really cool artwork. Enchanted Creature, whenever uh, whenever Enchanted Creature is going to do a graveyard from play, destroy Enchanted Creature. I guess that makes sense. Um, Matka Rioters. Look at these guys, man. They just came out of the Indiana Jones movie. They are ready to mess you up. You don't want none of that sauce. Canyon Mentor. Oh, yes. A 3-3 three, three for 4. Sounds awful. Moving on. Valley Ranit. Mountain Cycling. And Forest Cycling. Best of both worlds, Gruel. I suppose so. Stop their Foundry. Another cool card we got. Look at the casting costs on that card. You can pay one planes or one swamp, but you have to pay an island. <laughs> For one sacrifice, a non-token artifact. Put a 1-1 one, one blue Thopter artifact creature token with flying into play. You gain one life. Wacky sauce right there. Cool artwork on it, though. Behemoth Herald for three, sacrifice a red creature, a green creature, and a white creature. Search your library for a card named Godsire and put it into play. Then shuffle your library. How good's Godsire? Is that a good card even? Do we want to pull one of those? Viashino Slaughter Master. Double strike and for Deuce, Viashino Slaughter Master gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Play this ability only once each turn. Pretty cool. Double strike's always fun. Obelisk of Alara. Wow. Pretty nasty sauce. Um, the foil version. That's pretty sweet, man. <laughs> Not sure what to do there. Um, we got two. You gain five life. For deuce, draw a card. Then discard a card. Deuce more. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until the end of turn. Deuce, Obelisk of Alara deals three damage to target player. And for deuce, target creature gets plus four, plus four until the end of turn. The choice is yours. I've actually ran this in a deck. Pretty cool card. And then we got the forest to finish out this pack. And uh, nothing. But it does say it's a 2-4, if you notice right there. 2-4. There you go. Rule, rules rules the, the, the domain. Rules the domain. Um, Let's see. Next one up. We got is who taking this lovely swamp here. And Masterful Ninja is Brent Miller. Brent, congrats, man. Um, I watched the videos at least five times in a row, and I've been subbed for six months, if not longer. Yes, it's true. I always see Brent in the comments. In the comments, And thank you very much, Brent. You're going to get these two. And this nasty swap, man. Joey Moss special, baby. It's all you, my dude. Appreciate you very much. We also got the last um, of, the, of the crappy foils in the back, as uh, who gave them to us would say, the crappy foils. Yes, we are going to hand out the crappy foils at the very end of this guy. By all means, if you guys have made it this far, please take a moment, punch the like button in the mouth, because that's what's good. Oh, that's gorgeous looking. Oh, I like the artwork on that thing, man. Obelisk of Naya. Get a load of that. That is gorgeous. Thorn Thrash Viashino, all up in the piece, man, right there. It's pretty cool. With the Devour, too, as this comes into play, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. This creature comes into play with twice that many plus one, plus one counters on it. Dang. Thorn Thrash via Shino gains trample until end of turn. That thing can get out of control and abused rather quickly. Mastodon foil. Yes! For the moss sauce. Got him. For one, target creature with power five or greater gains trample until end of turn. Cool inclusion in a deck, I guess. Some Mastodon, baby. Demonic Dread. Oh, man, the artwork on it. This dude is running for his life. Like, forget about it. With Cascade, target creature can't block this turn. You can put that on some stuff, man. But that guy's terrified of this devil behind. Is it a devil? I don't know. It could be someone's mom. I'm sure she's loved. Cavern Thoctor. I love the artwork on that dude. He is evil. He could have been red. He could have been. I'm just saying he could have been red. Ridge ran it with the cycling. Pretty decent right there. Get a little of that foil shiny. All foil, man. Bone saw. Is this the original bone saw? I know I've seen many of them before. It looks pretty OG. I like the original gangsta stuff, man. Sidraxis Alchemist. Dude has seen better days. Actually, he looks like he's doing pretty good. He's got some like potions on him and stuff. He's like, I'm gonna drink this, feel good. It might be blood. Could be blood. That could be acid in the other one. Kind of a nasty little blend there, I guess. Sigil of the Nyan Gods. Ooh, cool. That little uh, emblem or whatever looks pretty nice. Got the Pulse 1, Pulse 1, the Cycling. Pick your poison there in the Cycling. 
putrid leak. I've seen this. I think this is the second time I pulled one of these. Um, quite a few of this. This has been printed a few times, I believe. I'm not mistaken. Not bad. Not bad. Naya Battle Mage. Now we're getting into some... Oh, look at that lovely flowing hair, man. She is ready for action. Look at that. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Tap target creature. Yeah. I'll play her. I'll play that card. View from above. Cool artwork on that. It almost looks like Cyclonic Rift's going on in the background. That is cool. Target creature gains flying until end of turn. If you control a white permanent, return view from above to its owner's hand. That's pretty sweet. Esper Charm. Nice. Choose one, destroy target enchantment, or draw two cards. Or target player discards two cards. Not bad at all. What's going to be our rare? You don't get to know yet. Oh, it is. Time Steve. Nice. Sacrifice five artifacts. Take an extra turn for this one. You only got to sacrifice five artifacts. Not a big deal. And the right artifact build, man. This would be a sweet card. Time Steve is very nice. Gotta love that foil action. That is beautiful. Beautiful, babies. And the island. Oh, that's one of the ones I really like. I keep talking about I, 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 on, a, on Arena. On Arena. They have this. And I'm like, that artwork is so cool. I kept mentioning it. And now I just pulled a foil of it. Woo! Skadoosh! I'm loving it. That one's going up on the wall. Ba-da-ba. -ba, bam. And the ooze token out the back. Who's taking home these crappy foils? Uh, it is going to be none other than... No, his name's somewhere. Emmett Lack. Skadoosh, my favorite foil has to be Karn Cyan of Urza because it was the first card I got of value. Double Skadoosh. Double Skadoosh. I'll also just include for fun this Demonic Dread. It was a random card I picked from the pile. There you are, my friend. Um, make sure you email me, all three of you, at mossbergswerve at gmail.com. I'll get them out to you. Congrats, my ninja. And I'll, I'll take care of this token. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. What was in the back? What was in the back here? The school of the critics. All for you guys. All right. I do appreciate it. Punch the like button on your way out, guys. It doesn't mean a lot. And uh, if you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure you share it with other people so that people can become subscribers of Bad Boy Gaming. We are about to hit 70,000 on the way to 100,000. I would want nothing more to end this year at 100,000 subscribers. Uh, it's a long ways away, but we can get there. I appreciate you guys. As always, get out of here. Kablam! And welcome. Kablam. Mm. Boosh! Skip. Mm.